Well, this is going to be an unusual um, video for me. I'm just going to have a quick chat about what's going on in the world, well, in the UK. Um, the recent by-elections show that the public aren't ready to tolerate things like ULEZ being extended out in London. But it's worse than that. The current situation is that the offshore wind industry has in effect said to the government, unless you pay us, you know, 250 percent more, we're stopping. They've already said that, they're actually stopping the development. So one of the major planks of the government, which is offshore wind, as I've said in a previous video, is dead in the water. The truth is that right throughout this net zero madness, which has become a religion, there is no scientific support for it. It is a religion. It is not based on fact. And the truth is that unless the parties, the main parties change and completely flip on their policies, they're in trouble. Now, I'm not asking for anyone to vote for any party. What I am asking is don't vote for any party that supports net zero and vote for those that want to drop net zero completely. I have um, recently gave, I gave a talk in the centre of Swindon uh, in the UK and um, we had tables around for loaded with leaflets and other things uh, around us um, talking to the public and I was talking about climate change in relation to the 15 minute city. You know that proposal when in the UK you get literally not allowed to leave your home with a car more than 100 times a year, including work. Stupid things like that, that are being proposed by these net zero zealots. So I was there when an activist, a stop oil activist came up and threw the table at us. He turned everything, threw everything off the table, threw it in the air, a bit like Jesus in the temple, only this was no Jesus. Now, it seems that a lot of people around, so I'll just leave him, he's nuts. But we, he was arrested and um, the police were there within a minute because they were quite near. And I went to the police station, I've had him prosecuted and he pleaded guilty and it's now got a criminal record and he was fined and is on a nine month suspended sentence. And this is what these people deserve. You have to stand up to this madness that's going on. Um, if you stopped oil, you would stop medicines, you would stop plastics, you would stop everything. And don't forget your car, your things in your home, your televisions, everything would stop. I don't think people understand all the implications of that. But it's a mad world. Those people have no understanding of what's around them, or, 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 of the science behind it, of the technology that would be affected. None at all. So what I'm asking you all to do is to really take a well spread the word net it's collapsing anyway it's not possible we've already imposed huge damage on western car industries and in particular the uk which is doing very well in the car industry but this no more selling of of diesel or petrol cars after 230 after 2030 sorry is absolutely ridiculous and it can't hold the whole thing is madness the Climate Change Committee in the UK about 10 or 12 years ago predicted the future, which the government planned on, which was by, I think, 2021, um, the average price of electric car will be only £13,000. They'd be cheaper than internal combustion engine cars. That's what the government planned on. But do the go that's rubbish now, of course, the other way around. But do the government then say, oh, we've made this mistake? No, it's a committee led by religious zealots who are controlling or feeding into a government policy. That is madness. And worse for us, the UK public, is that we have a conservative government gone bananas on net zero who are quickly trying to unscramble now that the people are obviously turning against it. So, so much for principle. They're actually saying, well, hold on, that's losing us votes. Let's go elsewhere. And the Labour Party, even worse on this, people like Ed Miliband being our energy minister would be an absolute disaster. And they're much, much worse on this. But both parties have had it, and so are the Liberal Democrats. So the three major parties, not to mention the little one of the Greens, the three major parties are all based on net zero by 2050 and many, many measures in the next six and a half years, though by 2030. So you've got to stop this as the public. You've got to spread the word. And don't believe for one second, I've done over 70 videos now on climate change, don't believe for one second there is any science behind this. There is not, which is why they won't debate it. They won't debate it. They say it's settled. They lie to you with figures like 97% of scientists agree. They don't. Nothing like that agrees. In fact, that figure, you can actually whittle it down to 0.3%. 
So please, as a, as a public, spread the word because the pigeons are coming home to roost. And what you're going to see is all these mindless chickens who lead us, who just follow, a mindless sheep, I suppose, who, who lead us and just follow the route, as it were, without any understanding of what they're doing to our energy policy. We've got to stop them. We've got to vote for parties that kick them out. It isn't good enough to follow people who have all this energy in net zero and immediately the public say, oh, no, we don't like it. The votes, oh, let's unscramble that. That's what's happening. It will all unscramble because the public will not put up with it. But it isn't good enough to follow these people. These people have no values in themselves. They, they don't really even understand what they're doing. They're following an agenda that's been set for them like brainwashed brainwashed zombies they are in that sense so this is a short video with my little speech and uh, i just had to make it because of what's going on in politics in the uk don't support any party that supports net zero only support parties that are against net zero and by the way even if we did net zero it would make no difference it doesn't change the co2 levels but i promise you co2 levels being higher are good for us, not bad for us. Okay, thank you for watching.